Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Teresa Sidario and I am your Jersey Mama. I'm going to wait until we see somebody come on. If anybody hears me or is watching, um, please do me a favor. Because of the technical difficulties that I had last month, please, um, you know, put a thumbs up or show some hearts to show that I, uh, that you can hear me. Top to invite. Can, anybody, can everybody hear me? I'm going to wear my glasses. Deanna is watching. Okay, can everybody hear me? Please uh, type in yes. Hey, girl. Hi, Rebecca. Can you hear me? You're typing in hearts that you can. Awesome. We're good to go. I don't know what happened last, last week and two weeks before that, girls. I really don't. Um, I know I dropped the iPad when I was looking at, um, at some videos, so uh, I thought something might have happened with that. So once again, I want to say welcome to Cooking Live with Jersey Mama. I am Teresa Sidario, and I just want to bring, uh, you know, just tell everybody that if you like what I'm cooking, please, um, nice comments would be great, and uh, please share some hearts, and <laughs> thank you for the thumbs up. And please feel free to share this or tag somebody in here. I do have a Facebook page that is, you know, that I also put up in, in the top part of this video. Please go to my Facebook page and, and uh, like my page. You will also find there other recipes that I have cooked in the past and videos as well. So, and if you um, can't see the food Please just swipe if you're looking on just swipe to the right and then this way you'll be able to see what I'm cooking So today I decided that I was cooking coconut shrimp and I'm going to make a um, I already pre-cooked the rice with the coconut milk and I'm doing a it's very very easy a, a pineapple mango bean um, Salsa to go with it. It's very very easy in fact it's so easy it's probably this video is going to get done very very quickly so uh, before anybody says shut up you talk too much well it's inevitable you have to talk on the show uh, give give people some ideas but I appreciate whoever is coming on uh, please indicate where you're from where you're you're you know getting uh, you're coming in from if it's from somewhere in Europe that would be great um, please say hello and if you would like the recipe I will put the recipe up but please feel free to take out your pencil and paper and um, and take some notes so um, I do not have any music on so if, if something goes wrong those of you who have my cell phone number please send me a text so this way I know something is up because this little little bit down here unless I get up right here I uh, love you too Lois hope you're feeling better um, so anyway this is what I'm going to do first in this bowl I am going to make the salsa. The salsa is very, very easy to make. I have some uh, plum tomatoes cut up in here. I decided to throw that in last minute. Some cilantro. Onion. I put about a half an onion in there, just so you know. Um, but I'm sure the directions say something else. But i got to learn to cook for uh, two people. This is one whole mango diced. Nothing better than your hands, right? This is one uh, small jalapeno. Jalapeno peppers come uh, small. I cored it. I took out the seeds, so it's not going to be real hot. Um, and I diced it up real small. I took a pineapple, and I, I did one cup of pineapple. And you dice that up real small too. You want everything basically bite size. It's very, very easy. And then I had a can of beans, and these are black beans. I love black beans. The recipe did not call for black beans, but I decided to add it because you because of the protein. I wanted some protein in there. So I have one can. Now, if you like to boil your beans, you can certainly boil your beans. Then you're going to take the juice of one, one um, lemon, which I already sliced and I also, also uh, took the seeds out. And then you're going to use about two tablespoons of lime, which I already had these 
limes cut for um, for drinks. So you put them in a plastic bag. You don't, you know. You cut. I like my I like my cocktail. My favorite cocktail this year, well, last year and this year is um, uh, vodka. It's a flavored vodka that I use for, um, and I usually usually drink it with uh, with club soda. And it's it's cucumber vodka. It's very very refreshing and it's very good this time of year. What you're going to do is, oh, you've got to add some salt and pepper. I use less salt. So, less salt. You can buy it the, in the stores. It has less sodium in it. My mother always used it. My mother doesn't have, you know, no one in my family has, well, there's a couple people now as they got older have high blood pressure, but, my, you know, they're older. Mix that up real good. put it in the refrigerator. Okay. So, what I did beforehand, because rice takes so long to cook when you're cooking it from a bag, unless you have, like, you can substitute this with um, uh, Uncle Ben's, uh, the 90-minute rice. They have that. You could use that. You could just use a plain. You could use the jasmine rice on that. I used the basmati because that's what they had in the supermarket. I wanted jasmine, but they didn't have it, so I, 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 I stuck with the basmati. I eat that all the time anyway. And what I did was I took a cup of rice, and I took two cans, whoops, two cans of um, organic um, coconut milk. It's all about flavor, folks. You got to cook with, when you're cooking with rice, if you don't, if you don't want a bland taste for something like this, you always cook with flavor. I usually, um, with other meals, with other rices, or or even farro, I cook with um, I cook with uh, what do you call Ch a chicken broth? Chicken broth adds flavor to everything. Okay. So what I did was I followed the instructions. I cooked the rice according to the temperature that it uh, or the uh, time that it told me to cook, and I rinsed the rice. Just so you know, I rinsed the rice because it can be very, very um, uh, sticky and pasty if you don't, if you don't. But I did do that. It came out. The, the rice comes out um, with a nice flavor. You're using unsweetened coconut milk, okay? Unsweetened coconut milk. So you cook that real good. Directions. Keep looking at it. If you need to add a little bit of um, water, you can. If you need to add, you know, a little bit of of uh, more coconut milk, you can. You just have to have enough. Two cans is usually plenty for one cup. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to do. This is organic coconut oil, and I'm going to cook the rice in the coconut oil. When I tell you how easy this is, and when I tell you how um, how fast it is, it's crazy. The longest you can take, you know, the longest thing that takes is the rice. So what I want to tell you is, evidently, my daughter brought to my attention, and I didn't even realize it, but my daughter Deanna um, has a thing with people who don't say the right words, and evidently she uh, was nice enough to tell me off the screen and not bring it to the attention of everybody live. But you know what? It, it's something I learned and I didn't realize. I always say I'm not a chef and I'm not a nutritionalist. Well, she kind of thought something was wrong with nutritionalist. So she thought that it wasn't a word. Well, I made up my own word. So I'm not a nutritionalist. I should say I'm not a nutritionist. So Deanna, if you're watching, I hope, um, you know... <laughs> You like that? You explained it. So, um, anyway, that's it. I'm not a nutritionist, and I am not a chef. I'm just somebody that likes to cook. Usually, I cook a lot of Italian food, but this is something different. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of coconut oil. I'm going to put this on low. Because it comes in, as you can tell, coconut oil usually comes in formed. If you ha and um, it, 
wants it, a heat supply to it, of course, it gets like an oil. So I'm going to turn it down real low because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bread the, the shrimp. I cleaned and I deveined the shrimp. If anybody, um, if you're good at it and you can grab, grab the tail, if you grab that tail of the skin of the shrimp, usually that, that, that vein, I get, I get nauseous, it makes me want to gag, I got a bad gag reflex, but anyway, it pulls right out. But unfortunately, I didn't get a good, I didn't get a good this uh, today while I was cleaning it. So what I also did was, I, I butterflied it to make it easier, it looks prettier. I have one egg that I scrambled. And that's all you need with me because like I said, I am only cooking for two people and my son's coming for dinner tonight so he's going to be happy about this. Now I'm not going to tell you how much flour to use. It depends on how much how much you are actually going to, to um, fry. So because I only have maybe 20 pieces, um, that's all I need. So I'm basically just going to judge. I like the coconut in with it. So I usually add a half a bag. That I can tell you. I usually add like a half a bag. Do will I have some left over? Yeah. Will you throw it out? Yeah. But you know what? At least you know it's on the coconut. The coconut's on the shrimp. I am going to salt the shrimp. This is sea salt that I use. I'm going to pepper. I will do the same. You know, I realized the one thing about down the shore, everything gets clumpy. Your salt does, your sugar does, and sometimes it just doesn't come out. And it feels like I'm putting a lot in, but actually I'm not. Mix this up real good. Make sure you flake uh, the the flake corn. Um, the coconut flakes are well mixed with the flour, so this way it gets on the coconut. The flavor of the coconut uh, fried with the uh, coconut oil is unbelievable. shrimp but you're using flour and you're using coconut that's all shake the excess egg off isn't it the worst thing to when you're making a lot of um, shrimp I know Christmas Eve in my house we do the seven fishes and we usually have to go through about nine pounds of, um, oh I'm sorry, 12 pounds of uh, fried shrimp and that's the worst because you have to use like maybe two dozen eggs to, uh, to be able to um, dredge the, the shrimp in there and then you have to use all this, all the um, breadcrumbs. Now, you can also throw this in a bag. Some people, like I've seen people do this with a lot of stuff. They just throw it in the bag. A lot of the cooking shows will do that. They'll throw the, their meat in a bag with the breadcrumbs. And um, this way it all becomes coated. I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to mix it all in. Nice, nice. Today turned out to be quite a nice day down the shore. It was a little cl uh, cloudy this morning with the chance of meatballs. You know, remember that show? <laughs> little joke, okay. <laughs> so anyway. 
Now this should be hot. And this doesn't take long. See how it comes out? Nope, it's not hot enough. So let's turn this baby up. So I'm really sorry about what happened last week, but I was able to type in the re uh, the, re the recipe for what I made. It actually turned out really, really good. The pasta where I got, it's called the Red Roof Cafe. It's in Ventnor. It's by, I believe the company, the people that own it is called Gotti um, or Gatti, something like that. But uh, I did leave the information. Also the, the shrimp or not the shrimp, the scallops that I made were from um, the Viking. I put the information on that too. The Viking um, Viking uh, scallop boat in B Barnegat Bay, so um, which are very, very good. I didn't use all of them, and what I wind up doing is, because I plan on making a paella next, um, which I'm sure Neil Brooks will like, because he's been busting my chops to uh, make a paella. Evidently, he uh, he fell in love with it when he went to Spain. Him and him and his wife Linda to go visit their daughter, who I believe teaches there. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a different way a different way of teaching to be able to live in another country? I mean, do it while you're young. You know, when if you're a teacher and you're just doing this, do it while you're young. Go experience life. Go experience other cultures. You know, and follow, make sure you follow the rules, though. You know, and this way, I mean, you get a you get a chance to see different parts of the world, especially in areas like that. I mean, people that actually live in uh, or go visit other parts of the world, they just or live there for a while. They visit all over. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so it's starting to the oil's now hot. So you place it in the pan. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of coconut. I really do. And this is really, really nice flavor. This lady, this is this is really good for a luncheon. It's really a nice flavor for a luncheon. Um, ladies, uh, ladies, you know, would love this. My son likes anything, so he's okay with that. One more. Here goes one more. Oh, I feel something. Oh, it's just a clump of uh, coconut. Okay. This cooks fast because there's only a little bit in the pan and um, your, your meal is done. The longest thing that cooks, folks, is, is the rice. That's it, that's the longest thing that cooks. Okay. You like the new apron? I know I wore it a couple times over here. This is, you know, another one of um, Paula Ford's uh, creations. I wanted something summery for down the shore and I got this one. So Paula, if you're watching, Please feel free to put your link if anybody would like to um, to take part and go and look at her site. Uh, she is on Facebook. She's out of, I believe, Tennessee. So um, she has some wonderful, wonderful, she does some really good work. What's nice is, too, if you need a little bit of, you need a little bit more um, oil or coconut oil, you can just add a little bit. You don't need it because it goes... Okay. Now, last week I did promote, and what I like to do is I like to promote, you'll see me promoting things from time to time. These are products that I've tried that I absolutely love. When I decided that I was going to go into um, my own home-based business, I said to myself, because I came from a medical background, I was 16 years in chiropractic, I was 16 years in family practice, I pretty much saw the gamut of everything and how and what people use. And because of some of the reactions people have with chem with um, medications and stuff and the stuff that I had, I said, you know what, it's time to take my health back and it's time for me to do something better for myself. And I made it a goal that when I do a business or take a look at a business, I like to 
find something that's going to work on a natural basis, okay? If it doesn't work on me, you will not see me promote it. If I don't think it's going to help somebody in the long run, you will not see me promote it. I have gotten so many people that say, Teresa, I want you to take a look at this. I've tried things, and there are things that I just won't, I don't, I don't think it works well enough in order for me to promote it. So when you see me promote something, it works. It works. And I'm always looking to have everybody's health and their best interest at heart. So when you see me promote it, you know I have your best interest at heart. I truly do. Oh gosh, this smells so darn good. Yum, yum, yum. I want you to see how, I'll take a piece over here. Let's see if I can get it where you can see how the coconut, I don't want to burn myself. Oh well. How the coconut is browning on the top. Doesn't that look amazing? And to cook with coconut oil is so much more healthier for you than to end with them for anything else. And I like to try to uh, try new stuff too. So this I had just so happened to make. I was in the mood for coconut shrimp last week, and I just said, you know what? Let me do this. And then I said, oh shoot, I should have made a salsa because I know when I go to these exotic places and they have all this wonderful food, they usually, especially during the summertime, they have all these, you know, salsas and everything. And I always taste them. I'm like, oh my god, I got to make this. I'm so used to cooking a big, huge meal with, you know, regular vegetables. And in the summertime, I forget, you can cook, you know, and make sauces that are, that are absolutely wonderful. This is almost done, folks. Believe it or not, I didn't think it was going to take me this long to cook the shrimp, but it looks perfect right now. Okay. So. Yum, yum, yum. God, this looks so good. I know it's going to taste good. You know I got to taste it, right, Rebecca? Because I always say I got to taste it to see if it's poison. Now, can you make this with butter? Can you fry it with butter? Hell yeah. However, Will it be heart friendly? Will it be cholesterol fan friendly? No. Okay, let's do this. Move that out of the way. Where's my plate? Oh, let me get my salsa. Un momento. everybody salvated. Feel free, like I said, to share this with other people. Feel free to go to my Facebook page and like my Facebook page and feel free to share that page with other people. Uh, any comments that you make, if you need uh, some clarification, after the video is posted, I will come back and I will answer anybody's questions. So here is the, the, uh, the rice that was cooked in the coconut. I'm just going to put it on, uh, let me see, um, salsa. Well, I guess everybody's hearing me because I told my daughter that if nobody could hear me to please um, send a text message. So I'm glad it's finally working. This taste is going to taste amazing, and I already know because it smells so darn.